Hello everyone, uh, back in the uh, little garage workshop today, I am doing a little upgrade on my benchtop planer. Uh, I saw these online and I thought they looked brilliant. Watched a couple of videos, people seem to uh, find them quite easy to install and they work wonders, so I bought myself one, see how it works out. So what I've got is this. It is the Easy Planer Precision DRO. Now what it is, is a digital display for your benchtop planer. So it, you get rid of this. This is attached to it and gives you a digital readout and it's, well, accurate they say with a 0.01 of a millimeter. So I've unboxed it all here, just to give you a quick show. So you've got all your hardware, there, this is to fix your bracket and slide into where this goes. So you take this off, attach this on there, and then it slides up and down with the cutter head. And it comes with a battery, some scales, there's a couple of plastic um, viewpoints, I'm assuming, for these scales when you're moving it up and down. Has got this USB cable if you want to keep it powered in. But it is battery operated. You get all your instructions for how to install it and how to set up and calibrate it, and a couple more mitts in there. So I'm gonna give it a good go, get it all put together, and then uh, let you know how it goes. Right, so uh, what I am doing is I'm back now with the eye gauging attachment to my DeWalt planer. Um, I started this video ooh, probably a good couple of months ago, I got waylaid with work and stuff like that. So I thought I'd come back and finish it off and just run through what I've found uh, with it so far, having a good play about with it. So I'll just show you that now. So what I've found is when you dial it in, it can be very accurate. Um, but with this particular plane, it can be a bit fiddly, just like saying the word fiddly, to uh, dial this in exactly. See, you open and jump, it jumps up about. So, and when you turn in the knob, I find you have to be a bit jerky with it to get it to go up and down on them points of a scale. So when you dial in the actual decimal places, you have to be a little bit sharp with the turn like that, just to get it to register. Now that says it should be at 34 exactly. Lock it in, it jumps, you see that? So unlock it, you have to come back. And you basically, to get them, if you're happy with being a point or so out, you're absolutely fine. But otherwise, I found you have to do, it's the rack and pinion on this thing that does it. Just lock it in. There now. 0 0.01 of a millimeter. I think you're absolutely fine if you wanted to run with that. So I'll run my board through and see what the calipers say. So when I ran it through, um, the calipers said 3408. But you can see it's moved again. Um, I think it's me not affixing this back plate to me, playing it correctly, because I didn't want to stick over the actual manual scale that's behind it. So I've left that bottom bit loose. Um, so that's probably why it might be a bit fiddly. If you attach to both sticky pads to both ends, you would probably be okay. Um, but I can live with a couple of fractions of a millimeter difference. Um, so yeah, I think overall it's really good once you get it all calibrated, which if I just show you here, you press the unit and the cal together, three seconds. That pops up. 
and then whatever you've read on your vernier calipers on your bit of wood you then enter it in now to move over to the next on bit you press and hold that so I'm going to do that properly, get that back round. There you go, next one. And then you just got to keep pressing unit to cycle the numbers. And once you've got it dialed in, which is changed again, 3471. So you just press cal and then that saves whatever number you've put in so it's a bit fiddly getting it set up it's not the easiest but i mean it's a inexpensive little bit of kit but once you've took the time to calibrate it and you've got a little bit of patience to maneuver your knob lock it down and just give it a second make sure that it's not going to move um very much at all you're absolutely spot on. It's a great little bit of kit. I don't think I'd get as accurate with the manual scale that's on it, on the machine itself. So this is a great little representation of what an inexpensive bit of kit can do to help you be a bit more precise, precise unlike me being able to pronounce words today, um, in your woodworking. So I hope that helps. Give me uh, any questions, I'll uh, answer them as best I can.